Hey guys, Lieutenant Curious here today. I am here with Lego Star Wars Mini Mock number 42 on the planet of Virugency. Now that planet's name is kind of a mouthful, so <laughs> it's kind of a weird planet, but it is known for having farms, plains, and caverns. Now, the farms are kind of just like locals to the planet that started their own farms because it is a very good planet for growing crops. And at the time of the Galactic Empire era, the Imperial era, whatever you want to call it, it was controlled by the Galactic Empire and was fought over between the Galactic Empire and the Rebellion. So in this mini mock, I have some rebels, four rebels featured in it, as well as a farmer and his son, who you are currently looking at, some really nice looking terrain, some crops, and a barn. So all of it turned out quite nice. I thought it turned out very, very cool. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into it. All right, so as you guys can see, this mini mock is on a 32 by 32 base plate, like most of my mini mocks at this point. And you can see that this terrain, this plains type of terrain, has a base color of dark tan. And what I mean by base color is the color on the very bottom. So this dark tan is on the bottom and has layered colors of both dark brown and olive green. And, actually, I forgot, and small patches of tan, like this one right here. And like I said, dark brown and olive green. Here's an olive green patch. Here's a dark brown patch. Dark brown is currently my favorite color, just because of how realistic it is. And I think it looks really, really nice in terrain. So I've been using it quite a bit. You can, and you can also see these patches of olive green stem grass, which I thought was a nice feature to add to this type of terrain. You can also see a few rocky structures using just some um, rock pieces, some slopes. And you can see in this corner where I started out the video, there are some crops. I thought this turned out quite nice. I will go into it a little bit further. And you can see this barn right here that I will show you guys the inside of, which is pretty cool. And back here, this planet is known for having caverns, so I decided to add a four brick high cavern. This is about all I sh I'll show. There's not much detail in there. There's just some plates and cheese slopes and studs, just to add some nice detail. You can see there are the rocks are all along the inside. I'll show you right through here as well. So a nice addition to the mini mop. All right, so now I will get to, sorry for the blurriness there guys. Now I will get to a more close look at the terrain as well as the crops. All right, so here's a nice close look at the terrain. Like I said, it has a base color of dark tan. And I also like, like when I do this type of terrain, I like to add a lot of detail. So what I use is a lot of one by twos in dark tan. And I also add these patches of dark brown and olive green and also a few patches of um, tan. And I also add some one by one plates. Sometimes I just place them there, sometimes I turn them. If I turn them, sometimes add some nice detail to it, which looks quite nice. And once again, you can see these patches of olive green stem grass, which I thought was quite a perfect addition to this terrain. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. And now to the crops. So you can see the front of these crops are these curly stems, what I like to call them. They come in the Seleucami Battle Pack. I got quite a few recently in a Bricklink order. Sorry for the lighting there. And you can see they are all along the outside of this line of crops. And right here behind them is basically some kind of tall crop that I just stacked stem grass, green stem grass, really high, and just had a huge patch of it behind the curly stems. I thought that turned out quite nice. So here's a nice view of it. All right, so now I will get into the barn. All right, so as you guys can see, 
This barn is in pretty good shape. You can see some nice detail with some wooden bricks, some brown and dark brown bricks on the outside of it, and a nice wide opening right here for the doorway. And you can see the roof that comes right off on each side has some nice tiling details and some brown grills or whatever you guys like to call them. It's a lot of nice pieces and I like to turn some of the 1x4s and the 1x2 tiles just to add some nice wooden texture. And now we'll get into the inner part of this, the inside I mean. So you can see it's just a nice inside of a barn. There is a crate full of carrots. There is a little um, bucket there with a mop. There's a wheel and a stormtrooper helmet that this farmer here, which I will get into his story in just a minute, has a stormtrooper helmet that he must have found somewhere nearby and just placed it inside. And now I will get into what is happening with these rebels and the farmer. All right, so you guys can see that I easily placed the roof, the two parts of the roof back on pretty easily. And you can see the farmer is standing right there with his weapon and he has a little satchel over his shoulder and his son is there shoveling, which I didn't mention earlier, by the crops, just using, using a shovel. And you can see more, more of this terrain, rock structures, all of that looks quite nice. And you can see these rebels coming in. Now, there were a lot of battles that happened on this planet during the Imperial reign, during the Galactic Empire era. And the rebels got in a lot of battles with the Galactic Empire and the stormtroopers on this planet. So what is happening is there are these four rebels that one of them got his leg most likely shot off. And you can see the blood is trailing behind them as he is bleeding out and in a lot of pain as you can see and he is being carried by a girl rebel and a Tau's rebel. Tau's are from the planet Ordo Plutonia which I have done a mini mock on. It was my fifth mini mock I believe or maybe something like that and there is a Rodian rebel who is running in yelling for help from the farmer who is just standing there watching them. So yeah, I'll give you a nice other look at these rebels for a second. I thought this scene turned out quite nice. You can see how this rebel is in a lot of pain based off of his face. And the Taos and the girl are struggling to carry him as the Rodian is calling for help from the farmer. So yeah. That's about it for this mini mock. Now I will get to letting you guys go. All right, so that's about it for Lego Star Wars mini mock number 42 on the planet of Verugency. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the mini mock. And if you would like to check out my Instagram for basically daily behind the scenes updates, be sure to do that. It's a nice addition to this channel. And also be sure to like the video to help me out and subscribe for some more awesome LEGO Star Wars content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.